What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Proven Power Cycles. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Eric and I am the tuner here at Proven Power Cycles. And today, this is going to be another vlogging thing. Uh, we're going to try to get more into this, see if you guys like it. We're going to actually give us some feedback on this, please, because we're trying to see if you guys like this or if we should do more of just the technical stuff, whatever, all the typical things that you see us do, the dyno tuning and the, and the regular workflow. Um, just let us know. Give us some feedback. So today is April 1st, and uh, we are we got a few things going on today. It's actually been super busy. I'm actually filming this at uh, at noon right now. Here's our boy Lewis. Oh, you got the cams? Yeah. Lewis got his cams. Well. So we're also doing kit cams on his bike as well here soon. We're gonna do the kit cams on his bike. We got uh, my bike. We actually have under the knife currently. We're we need to pull the motor still. Um, it's been a long time, bro. I've been on the phone since like I came up front here. I've been on the phone since then. Well, I, I came to talk to Brandon. I was like, "So where's Eric?" I was like, "You have the bathroom ready?" He's like, "No." I was like, "I think he's on the stop on truck." And I was like, "I'll just go work on the bike." And I got to the point where I'm ready to do the valve adjustment now. And I'm like, "I know." I know. <laughs> so guys, the reason why we're saying that is because I uh, I was supposed to be filming <laughs> this whole time of Lewis basically getting the bike ready to go for the valve adjustment, and I haven't been because I've been on the damn phone uh, nonstop. So um, the other business. thing I was gonna say is around. Ooh, you got some goodies. Yes, we do got some goodies. Yeah, we, got. we got the mid pipe for the Jixer. Yeah. So that's the Jixer we're doing the valve adjustment on. I got I brought my Grom stuff. Yeah. Rotor, clutch kit. Yes, sir. Big power coming our way on that Grom. Maybe it will tune the Grom too. We'll see. So that's the mid pipe. So we're doing a valve adjustment, or Lewis is doing a valve adjustment on a Gixxer 600 currently. And um, this is the mid pipe for it. So we need to cut the uh, cat off and grind it all down and then install that. So that does fit the M4 slip on, supposedly. So. I have faith in it. That's what we used on Brandon's bike. That's what we used on a few other bikes. So, and it works pretty good. So. Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right. Well, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the back and uh, film back there. See what we got going on I've, today. Uh, I've been poking in his ear. It's probably just gonna pay for everything. What? The link pipe and Remember I told you? Oh, he oh, oh, oh. You wanted to wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, he, he had me outside. And he, so so what he's also talking about, we had somebody stop by today uh, with a 2024 ZX-6R, and, uh, and he really wants to do the tune and a link pipe on his bike on the ZX-6R. And he's highly interested. He just doesn't know if he want to do it yet. We'll check that bike out here in a second. He's parked outside. Um, this guy's set up nice. Hopefully, we got a couple of other people dropping off today. We have the 2024 ZX-14R that we are doing oil mods, clutch mods, Quick shifter, full exhaust, sprint filter, and dyno tune. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make a video on that for you guys. Now we already have a video out for that, but it's the anniversary edition. Super cool color combo. Um, anyway, we're gonna do another video on it. Hopefully we can be a little bit more in depth on this video for you guys. Cause the last yeah, one, some people complained. Yeah, cause I, did, I missed some of the filming. Admittedly, it's a little tough, but anyway. What up, Juan? What's up, buddy? What's that? So this is our UPS guy right here, Tuan. What's up, man? What's up? We got yeah, more YouTube. crap. Who, who are we recording for? YouTube. I'll see you. The two. <laughs> super famous. Super famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love it. <laughs> Say it. Dude. That's something. So one of the bikes we have going on right now is this. Oh no, 2020. Late model 19. Yeah. 2020. 2020. 2020. So 2020 Jixer 600. We have the. We are uh, currently, Lewis has got everything stripped apart. We're gonna undergo the uh, valve adjustment. So he's knocking this out re real quick. After we do that, we have the mid pipe and the slip on that we're gonna install. So this is what we're gonna take out right here, this big boy here. So this is the main cat. We're gonna cut this out. And then we have an M4 slip on that the uh, customer requested along with the, yeah, so we got the M4 right here. We got the slip on right here and then we have the link pipe right here so those are going to be what's going on this next and then it's going to see the dyno again after it sees the dyno again we are uh, we're going to go ahead and start doing the uh dyno tuning and after that so we're going to re-baseline it and then do the dyno tuning just like we uh we always do here on the channel so but this is going on we actually had uh we actually had a guy stop by he's uh hanging out right here hello 
can it? And uh, he's got a 2024 ZX6R. Here, let's check this out, actually. Let's go look at it. There's the Aprilia. We're going to knock this one out here, too. And we just got the uh, programmer in for this, the new one. So we're going to reattempt the dyno tuning with that. And here is the ZX6. Yeah, this thing's cool looking, man. I like this. You want to tell us a little bit about it or what? Pretty much for a little bit. Uh, front cage, rear cage, cock strip, menthol bars, AVS levers. Pretty much all that's done to it so far. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and then we have the slip-on. So, this this is actually pretty sharp. This is an uh, Akrapovich, and it's got actually a tag, Ninja ZX6R. Pretty cool. Um... I mean, obviously, it does come with some of the some of the other nuances, like the uh, exhaust valve here. That's what these cables are. So there's a little valve in there, guys, that opens and closes. Actually, I think it's more like that, but no, it's like this. So anyway, it opens and closes, and it kind of regulates the airflow coming out, the exhaust flow. So he's gonna do away with that, right? You want to do a link pipe? Yeah. I okay. Pipe. Mid pipe, yeah. So he's gonna do mid pipe, and then we're gonna he's gonna end up deleting that butterfly as well. So before the tuning obviously and, uh, and then he wants to go ahead and get this thing tuned on the dyno so this will be a pretty cool one brand new 6r uh, we actually have one coming in wednesday that uh has let's see stacks filter and uh then we're gonna do a tune on it really um yeah i forgot what exhaust i know what exhaust he has on it but he does have some kind of aftermarket exhaust as well so he does have a cat delete uh, but still, these bikes are fun. I love these bikes. They they respond really well to the EC Flash and Dino Tunes. They're they're kick-ass bikes. I really Cowie did it right. I am a Cowie fan though. I do like Cowie, but I think that Cowie did it right on. We actually got our tune that showed up for today. He stopped by. We got a 636. We're not really gonna do a video on this. We've made videos before. This one actually. Um, it's not really have a lot of mods to it, and not only that, but the guy's not really looking for anything crazy out of the bike, you know. And, Honestly, I like to show you guys more than just kind of like simple little things. All he has is a slip-on, and we're just doing a tune. And again, he's just looking for the acceleration. He just wants like smoother on throttle. Um, he's more kind of more of a relaxed rider now, if you will. So um, he's like, look, man, I just want better acceleration. I want good gas mileage. So we have those people, too, who, who aren't requesting all the power in the world. They just want a better throttle response, which is what we provide also. So... We're gonna do the tune for him today. We got that going on. Lewis, we already did this, but Lewis is, uh, so he's, yeah, he's got everything prepped for the valves. Now, another thing we're doing is the mid pipe and everything. So he got all this prepped. Uh, I believe he's on the phone right now. We just had a phone call. So he's, uh, he's also, we're gonna get ready to prep all this and uh, cut this and all that jazz. Put the uh, mid pipe on and all that. The next customer should be here soon. We have, uh, really, we have two more drop offs today. We have a. Uh, Gen 3 Hayabusa that's supposed to be getting dropped off uh, and prepped for a uh, Brox cam install. We'll see. Um, his schedule's crazy, so it's always difficult trying to line our schedules up with uh, us and this uh, owner of the Gen 3 Busa. But it's the same one that we lowered on our channel, so we're trying to get our schedules lined up. But hopefully he drops off today. But he should be dropping off today, the Busa, to do the cam install. And then we also have the ZX14R that's gonna be getting dropped off here very soon, so. So also guys, I wanted to lead you over here. It is underway, it's officially underway. The head and cam project is underway on those ZX10. The motors, I know it doesn't really look like it, but the motor's almost ready to be pulled. The exhaust is hanging on by like two bolts right now. So once we undo that, we're gonna take the exhaust out. We gotta remove the radiator. The oil is drained, the coolants all fl are drained out for the most part. We got some in the reservoir, but uh, we're going to drain that out. And I want to say that's it. All the wiring is pretty much just uh, undone. It's all taken apart here. So that's all free. We're free here. So really, we just have a couple of grounds and a few other plugs that are up in there, like the ECT and stuff. We just got to unplug a couple of those little hard to reach ones. But And on the left side, it's all undone. So almost ready to go we are getting close i am getting excited i'm getting very excited i told lewis my goal is this week to have basically the majority of this done so we'll see we'll see what happens see if i get a little froggy when we take the motor out we'll see i usually do stupid shit whenever i pull the motors out so usually want to do more but anyway everybody loves it man people pull me over all the time man what the fuck is that thing? that's cool i like it i like it's the silver yeah dude the paint looks good at first yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. It's solid, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Man, 
Sick. All right, Eric, what are we doing to this one? So, yeah, so you're doing the Brock CC, clutch mod, uh, quick oil shifter, mod. oil mods, and then tune, really. And then uh, I did bring um, uh, front vortex, front uh, frame sliders, and reversibles, if you could throw them in. Okay. You could add whatever you need to to the labor. I got you. That's and then I talked to you about the light kit. If you don't want to do it. Oh, yeah. So I talked to a buddy. He actually has the same kit. So, and we were helping him install this. So, so you think you might really, be able to do it? Yeah, they're not too bad. Okay. Uh, Brandon has the same thing that he got for the. That's why I was like, okay, these are like the typical. Yeah. This one's kind of cool. Like, it actually has uh, for each signal light, it'll flash like a different, so, different color. This thing is dope. I'm excited about this one. I really am. So yeah, as you saw earlier, um, we got the Brock CT in for this thing. We're doing the, we're doing oil mods, we're doing Brock's clutch mods. Um, he also wants us to install a light kit. We have a fender eliminator kit. We have frame sliders, rear spools. Again, just a lot of little things that are kind of adding up, but, uh, but no matter what, we're excited. We're gonna baseline this thing completely stock. I love doing bikes like this. I love them when they're stock because now you get to see the total transformation what one does on the showroom floor versus what it's going to do when it's leaving here. I love transformations like this. Oh, just remember, we're doing a quick shifter also, and we're doing the Sprint PO8 air filter. So it's going to cover a lot, a lot of things. Uh, this is going to be a great bolt-on bike for anybody like for the street. Uh, it's going to be super, super fun for the owner. I can't wait till he gets it back. I'm excited. Anniversary edition. This paint scheme, I'll admit, wasn't a fan in the pictures and in the videos. I didn't like it. Seeing it in person, different story. The frame, the frame is powder coated. The rear, the subframe is powder coated. The swing arm is powder coated. They all have this titanium style, like kind of coat to it. It's badass. We love it. Uh, we haven't seen that before. If you notice, all the other ZX14Rs. All the frames, we'll look at my bike real quick, but all of them are this, you know, it's, a, it's still a nice matte black, but they're all black. Now I have an aftermarket subframe and an aftermarket <laughs> swing arm, but no matter what, they all come black. So seeing that or seeing that frame is definitely pretty cool. Definitely different. I love it. Um, it's, it's a cool bike. There's really not much else to say. It's a, definitely a cool bike and uh, we can't wait to start modifying it. Curious to see what this titanium exhaust is going to look like with that frame and everything, it's gonna be cool. Ah, I'm excited guys, stay with us. This is gonna be a cool one. So it's been a busy day, I'm not gonna lie. We're wrapping up the uh, 636 now. We, uh, as you saw earlier, the the brand new 24 ZX14R that just got dropped off. Um, we also have, the Busa ended up not showing up today. Well, we still have a little bit of time left in the day, but the Busa ended up not showing up today. Uh, banging out the Gixxer 600 here, knocked it out. So the next thing we need to do, we need to throw it on the dyno and uh, we are going to actually talk to the customer about, we're gonna throw a little, the heat shield basically that comes with the M4. We're gonna throw something. Well, I, they make a carbon fiber one. So what we're gonna do, cause we're gonna shave off some of the money on our bill since we didn't actually have to do a valve adjustment. So hopefully what we can do is say, hey look, you're still gonna get a little bit of a credit basically on this tab. Uh, why don't we use some of it to get the heat shield on the exhaust? Um, it is sticking out a little bit further than what we were hoping for. We um, we were hoping that it was going to be right around here where the exhaust was poking out at, but clearly it it's extended an extra like six seven inches than we originally thought. Um, yeah, yeah, we thought it was going to be a lot shorter. To be honest with you, um, we've done this system before on the 750 platform and. From my memory, it was, it's a lot shorter of a canister and everything, it doesn't stick out as far, but, and we triple checked everything and, and sure enough, they do stick out pretty far. So we're gonna see if we can do at least the cover, kinda, kinda help blend that in with the rest of the bike, the rest of the lines of the bike. So M4 makes a pretty cool uh, carbon fiber cover. We're gonna talk to her about it, see if we can get her to, to go ahead and scoop that up. But all in all, she's ready for the dyno. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll throw that on the dyno here probably in the next day or two we'll get it on the dyno our schedule is absolutely slammed in the next few days so in the next honestly in the next month i don't know how we're going to get through everything to be honest with you but we'll 
freaking figure it out. We'll find a way. We always do. So. Thank you.